post game here with WPI Field Hockey. A happy post game as the engineers come all the way back from a one nothing deficit to win in double overtime. Amy, uh, set up that last goal for us. Uh, we were just playing. I don't even know. We were bringing it down, passing, and it was at the top of the circle. Finally, someone hit it, and I saw the open hit it. Goal. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for those that hit it, right? Yeah. Uh, Libby, your goal got us back in the game. It, uh, one nothing, not a big a deficit, but, but when things aren't going offensively, that must have taken a lot of pressure off the team. Um, yeah, definitely at halftime we were kind of panicked, so we definitely had to settle down, and we knew going into second half that we were just going to need to pick it up, and, and everyone was going to need to contribute to the offense and defensive portion. Liz, not how you thought your senior year would start down one nothing. I right away talk about how your team was able to collect themselves, uh, like Libby just said. Um, I would say we did it very well. We did a lot of talking uh, at halftime and after the game was over, talking about how you know how we were going to do it, how we were going to keep our heads in the game and make sure we were play, making the plays that we needed to, getting the ball where it needed to be, knowing that when we had possession, we need to make little passes, get around the other team. But when they have the ball, as soon as we can get our stick on it, need to get it down there, get it to our forward, so they have the opportunity to get it in that goal. Amy and Libby looked like you guys had a lot of energy on that seven on seven. That's not easy to do. First game, humid. Uh, talk about having to do that for not just the first 15 minutes and end up being 18 or 19 minutes. Uh, <laughs> Lots of sprints. So all those sprints are yeah. worth it. And the adrenaline. That's yeah, we just we wanted it. We were hungry for the goal, and that really kept us going. To get us to get the ball. We were we were too hard all game to just let it go then. Uh, ladies, congratulations, good luck uh, against Bridgewater. Uh, yeah. We'll see you next week against Simmons, I believe. See ya. Here post game with Lisa Moreau. Lisa, congratulations. A hard-earned 2-1 uh, game against a very good LaSalle team. It wasn't how you envisioned it, having to come back from a 1-0 team, but your team obviously, game, but your team obviously showed something. They, um, they persevered today, which is nice. I mean, I, I think we're very young, and it took some, some jitters out the first half and really settled down. And we saw our movement throughout. Um, by everybody, and then the second, the older times, I thought we just physically were in better shape and just really uh, handled the ball and moved the field. Players aren't usually excited about their fitness in, in preseason, but the players talked about how important that was uh, today. Is that senior leadership? Is that coach driven? Is that all 22 of them buying into it? It's program driven. The kids in the past and the present, it's a hard time physically. You know, so these kids come in, they know what preseason's about. They come in and they know they're going to push each other, they're going to push. You know, right through, and, and it's more about the program. It's the Good. And they've kept it up. Libby, in particular, showed a lot of energy today. No, Libby did, and Shannon in the overtimes was our was really. Yes, Libby and Amy were up there doing the shooting, but it was Shannon that got the ball up there. Good. And picked off the passes and broke it up in the middle. And after an early goal, the defense settled down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we in that overtime, I, there were two freshmen out there, so that was. Great to see. They're, they're going to be so really an asset to our program, and I can't say enough about Abby. I mean, she just she's she's working with young freshmen, and she's a great mentor to them and a leader out there. And she's she's, the, she's going to be our rock, and everyone else is going to have to work around. Good luck Tuesday at Bridgewater, and we'll see you here Saturday afternoon.